Today let's talk about how this camera got replaced by this camera. Hey guys, I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel. I have been using the 1DX Mark II for quite a while and it has been my go-to camera. It has been amazing. I love this. That's the most amazing sound ever. I bought this because I wanted a full frame sensor that was able to shoot 120 frames, something that I could take with me and film pretty much anything. I wanted one camera that would be able to capture great photos and also really good video. And at the time, this was the best that could actually shoot 4K as well, that could shoot HD in a high bit rate. So you can push it and pull it a little bit. So straight out of the camera, the colors were great. When I had to do some pro stuff and I needed a B camera, this one was okay. The C200 was my main camera and the C300 before that. I really wanted something that could check off the most boxes for one camera that was still professional level. So as a stills camera, it was amazing. As a B camera, it worked really, really well, but I wasn't really happy with the quality of the footage, especially since majority of the stuff that I was filming was coming from an Alexa, was coming from a RED, was coming from the C line of cameras from Canon. This one worked in, I was able to squeak it in a lot of times, but a lot of times you had to push and pull the footage to make it look like it fit, like it came from the same thing. One of the things that was really a drawback to this camera overall, it would add sharpness to the footage, which made it look a little bit crunchy. It would make the details really noticeable, something that for me wasn't pleasant. I really like the softness that comes from the C200. You can add the sharpness and the detail as you want, but then you can tone it back. And it's this really nice, smooth, buttery image that you can make look really, really good. This was all in or nothing. So when Canon announced the EOS R, it was able to shoot in C-Log. I watched all the reviews and waited for about a year to really make a decision. I didn't wanna compromise the image quality just to have a more compact camera. I wanted something that was comparable to the 1DX in terms of quality. This has really exceeded my expectations compared to the 1DX when it comes to the photo quality. I'm still able to push and pull it as far as I would with any of those photos. I was leaning heavily to get the Sony a7 III. It really was the camera I was going to buy, but when they announced this one, I put a pause on that and just held on, held on. I wasn't too crazy about the new mounting system that Canon was proposing. I'm definitely open to it, but I have a lot of EF glass that I wanted to use. So I wanted to make sure that this is a camera that I was able to use. I really like all the aspects, all the specs that were coming out on the camera. I'm not really a specs guy. I don't really care the technicalities of it. I just want to be able to capture the image, either the photo or the video, and make sure that the quality is up to the standard that I need. After about a year of waiting, I bought the camera and have been with it for about three months now. Here is my straight up review and what I think in a professional setting. So first off, right off the bat, the image quality from both the video and the stills are amazing. They look just as good as the Canon 1DX. The sensor in here is the same as the Canon 5D Mark IV. So the sensor I'm already familiar with. I'm already familiar with the quality coming out of it. The video quality is buttery smooth. It looks amazing. I'm able to color grade it to be very close to the C200. I personally like the video quality coming out of the EOS R over the 1DX. It allows you to add sharpness in post. So you can actually really dial in or not, leave it smooth. I actually feel that it gives this really nice skin tone over the 1DX video quality. So video quality and photo quality from the Canon EOS R is amazing. I love the compactness of this camera. The size of sensor that they put in this body in this form factor is amazing. That's another reason why I'm really loving this camera. Just the size of it, because I do a lot of traveling. So the smaller the gear set that I can bring with me, the better. And and it feels really nice to grab. It feels like a solid camera. Cameras and lenses become really heavy really quickly. And the 1DX is a monster. This is what I used to travel with. So the size comparison is staggering compared to, it's almost half the size. I know if, the, if this had a battery pack on it, it would kind of feel the same, but I actually prefer the compactness. The battery life has never been an issue with this. I've gone days without having to switch out the battery. I always bring an extra battery, but it's never been an issue. So that's another bonus point for the Canon EOS R. The next thing is the flip screen. For me, the flip screen wasn't necessary to begin with, but the more I've used it, the more I've come to really enjoy it. Especially if you need to put the camera in a nice high angle, you can quickly frame your shot without having to connect an external monitor or connect an app. So I really appreciate that. It definitely helps when you're shooting low and looking up to be able to quickly adjust that. 
I know one of the benefits is being able to film yourself like this in vlog mode, I guess. But I know the ability is to, to get a good reference of what you're trying to film. I wasn't thinking about vlogging when I was thinking about buying this camera. I wanted something that matched my C200 at the time. I definitely wanted a solid B camera. One of the things I really like about the flip screen as well is you're able to close it. It protects the screen while you're traveling, so it's fantastic. But beyond the flip screen, the actual touch screen of this is awesome. I love being able to pinch and zoom through the photos, being able to cycle through many, many, many photos really quickly. That's one of the things I didn't like about the 1DX is trying to cycle through so many photos. The touch screen makes it a breeze. It's like using an iPhone. That workflow is easy and intuitive, so I'm, I really appreciate it. The tap to zoom, you can get to most of your settings quickly. You can choose a photo that you wanna look at. You can zoom in, you can pan around the shot really easily. Another thing I love about the camera is the connectivity that it provides. It's actually really simple. Once you've set this up once, it is able to connect every single time. Just starting the app and connecting to the camera, it joins the network. It takes a few seconds. I'm doing this in real time. So it's, it's found the camera, connected to the network, and now it's connecting to the camera. So it's almost done. It's about 15 seconds. And there it is. And now we have all the images that are on the camera, on the SD card, and you're able to quickly cycle through them, download them if you wanted to, the original size or reduced, can download them or you can cycle through which one you want. You can actually share it. You can actually send it off to a printer. You can delete them. You can find the info about the settings of the camera. You can star it. You can like it to make your process easier in post. So when you get back to your computer, all your selects have been done for you. So it's a really good app. It's really intuitive. I really like it. It allows you to do remote control of the camera. You can control it. You can hit record. It allows you to change your settings as well. So it's a really intuitive app. It works really, really well. So it's a nice little added bonus. Thank you, Canon. The electric viewfinder is really good quality. I, I like it. It's, it looks really sharp. There's a little bit of a lag to it, uh, especially in video mode. When you switch it over to photo mode, that lag really disappears. The only thing I'm not really sure about is this touch bar. I don't really have it set up for anything or use it. I haven't found a need for it, but again, it's not a really big deal. Overall, it feels like the buttons are in the right place. I went with the EOS R over the a7 III because I didn't want to change my post workflow. I was also hearing a lot of people talk about how it was hard for them to match the skin tones with other camera systems. I really like the fact that I'm able to match this with the C200 footage very, very easily. That's why I went with this camera over the other camera systems. I didn't want to switch my workflow. I didn't want to buy different adapters. The drop-in ND adapter, I liked the added benefit to having this adapter opposed to just standard EF adapters. It also allowed me to use my EF lenses as close to natively as possible. I also like that adding this ND adapter makes it feel like the C200 having the ND adapter after the lens, but before the sensor. So it feels really good. It feels really intuitive and it adds an ND filter to every single lens that I own. I did an in-depth review on the drop-in filter, all the pros and cons. I'll link it up here. Definitely check it out if you're interested in this. Ultimately, I chose this camera because it fit into my workflow. It fit into my post workflow and also it matched all the other cameras that I had in my system. So the footage looked great. I was able to play with it in post easily and it matched my C200. I had my reservations about buying this camera initially, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I spent some good time with it. It was actually easier to incorporate into my workflow than I thought it would be once I got past the settings issue. Definitely check it out if you're in the market for it. And check out this video I did about choosing the right camera for you. It's more about choosing the whole camera system than the individual camera. This camera made sense for my entire workflow, my entire uh, camera system that I have, all the lenses, all the adapters. Check out that video to make sure you're choosing the right camera for you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I am Raphael. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.